morning everyone welcome back to fabulous over 50 and for my american friends happy thanksgiving to you and your family <laughs> excuse me got all choked up there thank you for uh, for joining me for some saturday morning fun i have another collab for you today with uh, the ever classy sassy my sexy bestie from texas sharon capehart and we are going to bring to you our favorite French products. So if you're interested in finding out, finding out what my favorite French products are, then you know the drill. Go grab your cup of coffee, your cup of tea, and if you're across the pond, a glass of wine or a glass of champagne, and let's get busy. For those of you who do not know Sharon Capehart, what are you waiting for? You've got to get over there and subscribe. She is a phenomenal woman. She is just, she's so witty, so funny. Her videos, uh, I mean, she is a uh, motivational speaker. She's a life coach. And what she does is she, her, uh, her background is empowering women. And that she does. She takes no nonsense and she tells it like it is. She's a straight shooter and that's what I love about her. She's just, and she's got incredible style. So she, we, her and I have talked about it. We both have a passion for French products. We said, why don't we do a collab and we'll share our French products. I have no idea what she's sharing. She has no idea what I'm sharing. So I'm looking forward to going over to watch her. So without further ado, let's get busy. As you can see, I'm channeling a navy and white Chanel look. This is... Chanel holds a very special place in my heart because my mother was a Chanel woman through and through. She was the epitome of Chanel. My mother always, uh, her signature scent was Chanel number five. Our entire house smelled of Chanel number five, her bathroom, her bedroom. She just, like I said, the epitome of French class and glamour. She never ever was without lipstick. I think she went to bed with lipstick. I don't know. She always had lipstick on. But so I'm doing this tribute to her and she always loved navy and white. So I pulled out my Chanel scarf, my little navy blazer and uh, let's go. First things first, we'll start off with foundations. Two of my favorite foundations and primers are, as you no doubt know, is my Chanel Vita Lumiere. I love this this foundation. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous foundation. It's satin finish. It's a light to medium coverage and um, just stays on beautifully. Uh, you know me, my wear test is 12 hours. This uh, definitely does uh, does pass my wear test and this has been a repurchase from, from me for years and years. Now, I have normal to dry skin. If you have oily to combo skin, I would suggest that you go with the Aqua Lumiere or the velvet, uh, the uh, the, vel uh, the Chanel velvet. This is more for normal to dry skin. For primer, uh, my mm, one of my all time loves. Again, a repurchase for me is Le Blanc de Chanel. I love this because it gives a nice luminosity to the skin. You can use it as your base, your primer. You can add it at a pea size amount into your foundation. You can add it over your makeup as well as a highlighter. It's just so you know multi uh, multi functional product. My second foundation is one that's relatively new to me, and this is the new, for me, it's the new Perure uh, by Guerlain Perure Gold. Now, this one is, I would say, a medium to full coverage. It's got a much thicker consistency than my Chanel Velvet, but absolutely beautiful finish because it doesn't give you that cake-like finish. Just, just gorgeous. Also comes with a with a gorgeous price tag, if you know what I mean. That's the only drawback of this of this one. But beautiful pump, 12-hour wear, doesn't settle in fine lines, blurs, all those those fun things that we look for in a foundation for mature skin. So this is the uh, Guerlain Perure Gold. I will put all the links below with my shades. And this has been a repurchase for me. This is the Guerlain L'Or, uh, the... Um, the foundation base, which also is um, gives you a little bit of a glow, a little radiance. However, I must tell you something. I notice a lot of the young YouTubers are talking about this, and they're saying that it, oh, it gives you a lift. It does, it does not lift nothing. Nada, no. So, uh, you know, when I hear a 20 or 30-year-old saying that, it, oh, it's lifting, 
No. It does give a nice radiance. And I, I, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Is it worth the hefty price tag? No. It's beautiful, but it's not worth the hefty price tag. I much prefer the Chanel um, or even the, the Laura Mercier, the, the Radiance. But it is beautiful if you like. One thing I love about the French products is the smell. They have that beautiful floral scent, the rose scent. That's what I love about uh, about about these products. But I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest with you. This, yes, absolutely gorgeous. This, there's definitely some comparable products to that one. Okay, now we're going to move on to face powders. My all-time favorite, favorite fa face powder is the By Terry. It's the Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. I love this powder. This powder is so light, so airy. It's like a cloud of air when you go and, and swirl your brush in this. I don't use this every day because it is a very luxurious um, and it comes with, with, with a nice price tag too. So this is my special occasion one, but it is my all-time favorite luxury powder. I And it's funny because I have been using, this has been a repurchase for me at least four times now. And so I've been using this for years and I'm just noticing now on YouTube in the mature beauty community. A lot, a lot of women are discovering this. Actually, Sharon Capehart did a review on this a couple of weeks ago. Um, I know Kristen Game just loves this. Actually, em Emily Noel also mentioned this about setting her under eyes with it. Absolutely beautiful. Now, for finishing powder, one of my favorites is the Gillette Meteorites. I love the packaging. All of all of their all of their uh, products come in these beautiful velvet pouches, both for Gillette and for Chanel. Now. I used to get the meteorites, the pearls, but uh, this is the first year, actually last year I bought the, the compact and I much prefer it because I find the pearls, although they are so pretty and look beautiful on the vanity, they take up a lot of space and I don't find they last as long as the compact. So I'm really pleased with, with this and it just makes a beautiful finishing powder and <sighs> two thumbs up for the packaging and is this Diva approved or what? I just and it, you know, it's got that weight, that really luxe feeling about it. Absolutely gorgeous. Now we move on to bronzers and you know, if you've been with me for a while, I'm losing my scarf, I'm just taking it off. <laughs> my Chanel Le Temps de Chanel. This has been a tried and true for over 20 years. Absolutely love this. And you know what? If you buy this, it will last you. My first one last me, gosh, I had over 10 years and I just I just replaced this I think about two years ago and I barely made a dent in it and I use it frequently. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The other bronzer which I got last year that I really like is the Guilain the Terracotta Spray. Now this is the bronzing powder mist and you're supposed to mist it over once you finish all your makeup. I don't do that because it's just way too expensive to mist but it gives the most beautiful beautiful bronze and what I do in the summer is I spritz a little bit in with my foundation and that just gives me that spent the day uh, on an island in Hawaii okay Renalyn that's I'm thinking of you the Aloha Renalyn but that's what um, that's what this reminds me of it's just beautiful you can put it on your shoulders on your collarbone absolutely gorgeous and what I love about it is that it doesn't transfer onto your clothes added bonus blush one of my all-time favorites is my Chanel it's called le coup de is it called le coup, le, le coup de minuit this is what I'm wearing today it's a very subtle go-to to blush I've been using this for years and uh, I always bring it out in my favorites because it's just been it's been there for quite some time and I like it because it's got a bit of a highlighter to it now we move on to lipstick. Now I have several French lipsticks. I have Christian Dior, I have Givenchy, I have Yves Saint Laurent. But my all-time favorite is my Chanel, the one I'm wearing now, Rouge Noir. I love this lipstick and I'll tell you something, what I love about this one, why this one is so special to me, is that as you see this color is very vampy and most, most brands now carry a color in in this uh, have a have a shade of uh, of this dark gosh I can't talk today 
this Fabi shade in their lines. However, Chanel came out with the Rouge Noir several years ago, before the Vabli lip actually made the big trend. When it came out, I remember seeing it and it was only available in Europe and I absolutely had to have it. And when I absolutely want something, I'm like a dog with a bone, I have to have it. Searched high and low for this, finally got my hands on it. And I love it. I love the, the packaging of this. So sleek, so, so Chanel. But it's the color. It's just, to me, it's it's vampy, trampy. It's, it's me, right? It's diva. It's a diva lippy. Next two items are sprays. And I'm not talking perfume sprays. I'm talking about facial, facial mists and body sprays. My go-to body spray, and it's been for as long as I can remember, is my NYX Dry Oil Spray. I love this spray. That I've had this, oh, I'd say at least over 30 years. Not this particular bottle, but I just love it. You spray it, it moisturizes your skin, and it's just, it doesn't leave, leave that sticky residue. It's a dry oil, and it's very performing. Absolutely love it. You can use it all over your body. You can use it on your face, your hair, whatever. I just use it on my body. For my face... My um, my favorite face mist is the Claude, uh, Le Claudelie, the Beauty Elixir. I love this. I spray this on before I apply my primer. I love it. It smells like the spa. It's so je ne sais quoi. Absolutely love it. Some people use it as a setting spray. It's not intended for a setting spray. It's just a, it's a refresher spray. But I use it before I apply my my primer. And last but not least, we can't finish off this video without talking about my three favorite French perfumes. My number one um, for the day is a, is the uh, Guerlain Le Souffle de Chalimar. Now this is a, the a step down from a tone, uh, actually a couple of tones down from the original Chalimar. It's much softer, very sensual, very soft, perfect for day. Absolutely love this. And I know several of you, after I talked about it uh, a couple of months ago, uh, got it and absolutely love it. The second one is uh, is by Hermès and it's Le Voyage d'Hermès. Now look at this bottle. This is this is the perfume. Look at this bottle. You just flip it around and that's how you spray it. I just love it. Actually, I'm going to spray a little bit. <laughs> it's beautiful. Now... This is, the way I can describe it, is a very clean smell. It smells like, when, when you have it on, somebody may think, gee, is she wearing perfume? What is she wearing? It just smells so good. It just smells so clean. So this is a great everyday. Now this is the perfume. There's also the Eau de Parfum, which is the clear bottle, um, which I don't find has as much staying power as this one, but that's, uh, I, I'm just saying, I just find the bottle so neat. And last but not least, the creme de la creme of all perfumes for me. And this goes with closing with my whole, uh, my whole Chanel look, is the Coco Chanel Noir. Now this is a beautiful evening perfume. It is sexy. It is sensuous. It is exotic. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You need to make somebody happy. You wear this to bed one night and I'll tell you, you're going to make somebody very happy. It's, uh, it's intoxicating. It's just beautiful. But it's an evening scent. Not, I don't find it, I find it's a little too strong for day. But absolutely gorgeous. So that is my roundup of my favorite French products. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you're enjoying a great, uh, a great weekend with your family. I will not be here next week. I'm doing, I'm putting up my trees. I'm having my little tree trimming party. I will see you in two weeks with another holiday video. So on that note, je vous embrasse de Montréal. Soyez prudents, soyez belles. And what does Natalie tell you? When you look at yourself in the mirror, Natalie tells you you're beautiful. Because you know what? You are. You're beautiful inside. The rest is just decoration. Play with your makeup. Now go on over and see what Sharon has in store for us because that's where I'm off to. Bye for now.